So you have this amazing idea of creating a world where you can die but have to progress in the level like a speedrun or uh, some kind of platformer. How do you create checkpoints for yourself so that you don't have to start all the way from the beginning again? In this tutorial we're gonna make sure that we can die and go back just a few seconds ago to continue our progress. Let's dive right in it. Let's go. So, I already created a simple scene with just a few blocks, like walls where you have to go through, and we have some spikes, or they don't really <laughs> look like spikes, but let's pretend these are deadly spikes, and whenever you hit them, you will go back into your spawn position, which normally is your VRC world object. And we have created some simple levels, like level 1 is just run through the spikes, level 2, well basically just go over the stairs and go to level 3, which actually is the finish, but it gives you a, a great idea of how the spawn mechanism works. So let's start with just our VRC world. This is the object which will be the spawn. And we want a, to be able to spawn at the level texts whenever we die. So we will need to set a few triggers. Whenever we hit that trigger, the spawn location will move towards the right position. So let's start and create a new 3D object, make it a cube, place it into position, like right over here for me, and make sure it is a trigger by checking the box. Also make sure you disable the mesh renderer, you don't want to see the block itself of course, if you want to test you could always turn it on just to see if you hit something and it works and then add a VRC trigger to it. Select the custom drop down and put it on on enter trigger. Add layers, we're gonna set that one to the player local, make sure that we only select play local because we want to uh, keep the progress for the player itself and not for everyone. If you want to be able to, like if only one person enters the trigger and then the spawn points go towards the locations for everyone, then you have to select the player. But for now, just player local will be fine. For the actions, we will do an animation trigger, so select animation trigger and for the receiver we don't have any animation yet, but if we would drag this over here you can see non animator. So let's go back to the VRC world and go to the animation tab in the bottom and start creating a new animation. Put it in your right directory, so like let's make a new one and animations and let's name this one check points. So now we got an animator on it and when we select the cube let's also give this one a yellow icon so we can see the cube right over here, whenever we deselect it, we can just reselect it because the mesh render is off, making it a little bit easier. So over here, now we should be able to see the animator when we drag the VRC world in it. And put a trigger and let's uh, call it level 1. Alright, so that's set up. Let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D when having the 
uh, cube selected and just move it to the next location like level 2 in this case and again over here in the VRC trigger select the animation trigger you will see still the VRC world animator in it and make this one level 2 we're gonna duplicate it once more drag it over to level 3 or whatever you name it in your world go over to the animation trigger and make that name level 3 there we go and we could just give it a better name by naming them level 1 trigger for example press enter and you can see text changing over there level 2 trigger and for the last one level 3 trigger there we go so that's step 1 let's continue to step 2 for the next step we will set up the spawn points so select your VRC world uh, add a property in your animation tab go to transform position and press that red dot over there so we can position it wherever we want you can see it's slightly moving let's delete the last one copy the first frame and paste the first frame so you only need one frame actually deselect the red dot and this should be it so that's our first checkpoint this is where we start our mission let's create a new clip let's call this one a level one and do exactly the same add property transform position delete the last keyframe select the first keyframe check that red dot over there and oh, it's all the way over there move it right to the next location of level one and deselect this one again copy your first frame go one frame further you can also do it with like these buttons and paste it so when we check this one out now it should be static over there and the same goes for checkpoints when we play this one you can see the checkpoint or the vrc world is over there so that already gives us a slight idea of how it should work that it spawns over there and goes over here it's it's really not a problem because this one is most important so if you see your uh your your arrows your axis somewhere uh, else then just play or just drag it a little bit around and it should work let's create a new clip level two and do exactly the same go to level two add a property position press the red dot and just make sure it's right over there delete the last frame copy the first frame one frame further and paste it again deselect your red dot and you will see it stands right over there doesn't move at all and one more to go so create a new clip level 3 do exactly the same transform position press the red dot move it over there oh that's the, totally the wrong way move it over there it looks fine delete the last frame copy the first frame go one frame ahead and paste it deselect the red dot and when you play it it should stay right over there great so that's the setup let's go to the next step for the next step we just need to open the animator so press window 
in the main menu at top go to animation and select animate tour and you will see a lot of things over here you will see when you have uh, when you don't see anything make sure you click on vrc world and you will see your checkpoints level one level two level three and you could now set up everything in here we're just gonna make a one way checkpoint spawn so whenever you reach level one you cannot go back to the first spawn point when you reach level two you cannot go back to the level one spawn point but of course you can connect it however you want if it suits your scene so let's create transitions from checkpoints to level one from level one to level two just right click the icons and select make transition and go to level three so that's how we will progress our world go to parameters and press that plus sign and select the trigger so the first one we named it actually level one the second one was level two and the last one was a level three so make sure you have those select the arrow between checkpoints and a level one and you will see this window popping up under conditions press that plus sign and make sure level one is selected do the same for the next arrow so plus sign but over here we're gonna select level two because we're progressing from level one to level two and at the last one we're selecting a level three so that is it let's check it out if it works you can just press play on this one wait for it to be loaded there we go and pause it go back to your animator and you can see checkpoint is doing things over here so what if we now press the level one you can see the next one gets selected so if we press level two you can see the next one is being selected and of course when you select level three the last one will be selected also you can see it goes pretty slow and for this we could there we go just create the speed or change the speed into 10 so it's a little bit faster so let's do that next go back to your animator and pause or unplay your scene and set the speed to 10 in every block that's the animation so let's go back to the scene and wait maybe just drag the animator next to it so we can also see the vrc world moving because that's something we want to see like you can see the vrc world right over here so when we select level one it goes right over there when we go to level two it goes to level two and level three it's on level three so that looks amazing that looks great let's save the scene and start uploading and testing it all right as you can see we have loaded in the world you can see the start the level one some colored walls and you can see the deadly spikes over there so we started right over here that but uh, what we selected in the editor so when we fall down we spawn right back at this position now let's go to level one and just touch one of the deadly spikes you can see we now start at level one itself instead of right over here so if we fall down we spawn back at level one also if we just select a respawn we respawn back at level one looks awesome right let's avoid all the deadly spikes over here and go to level two so now we are in level two what if we now okay as you can see we're still in level two even if we 
die over here. We're still on level 2. If we are going back to level 1. Right over here and just die. Right off this edge. You can see we are back at level 2. And now for the last one. To level 3. And this is actually the finish. So we could have a big celebration, thousands of mirrors because everyone loves mirrors. But if we die, we still be in the finish level part. Also, if we respawn, we are still in the finish. So that's how you create a progressive checkpoint system in your VR chat world. Uh, this only works for VR chat SDK 2, so not for the third one. SDK 2 is easier for most people, so let's stick at that one, right? Now I just want to thank all your support guys, you've been amazing. We reached 100 followers on YouTube, even beyond 100, so that's pretty amazing. Um, the Patreon slowly grows as well, so I want to thank right over there all the people thank you for your support this month um when you have questions or whatever just hit me up on twitch lately i'm also streaming on trovo so you can find me there as well almost every day actually yeah. youtube you can ask me questions anywhere or just in the discord which you can find in the description as well so make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment if you want See you in the next one, guys. Good night.